Building an app is the single best side hustle in 2025. So I'm gonna take you through everything from how to think of actual app ideas, build them, and then market them to actually make your first dollars online as a solo developer. And this is all based off of the frameworks I use to build and scale my own startup Empor to thousands of downloads and revenue and even winning the sustainability grant at McGill, as well as my new AI SaaS app, Resumax, which at the time of recording has 4,000 users and generated $2,400 on day 37 after release. Best part is I am not some millionaire. I'm someone who's experienced a little bit of success, but someone who is in your exact position just one year ago until I learned everything I'm going to teach you in this video. First of all, how in the world do you get that 10k per month app idea? You might think you have a million dollar idea already in your head and if that's the case, sure, go ahead and build it. But I'll be blunt. In this day and age, an idea alone holds next to no value, especially with how fast and easy it is to build and release something. This is why I strongly suggest, especially if you're just starting out, copy existing ideas that are already out there. The hardest part is always researching and validating your idea. And this way you could skip all of this and just get into building. But, 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 Eric, XYZ app already exists. How am I supposed to make money off of that? Get it through your head that originality is dead. One of my favorite YouTubers actually once said something that really resonated with me on this. And it's something along the lines of a burger restaurant in a &W did not stop McDonald's three decades later coming out with their own burgers and making millions and millions of dollars. This is no different in software as much as we might try to believe it is. More often than not, you just need to capture a small share of your market as a solo developer. For example, with the app I'm currently working on Resimax, I was just browsing through this indie startup page and found this AI resume generator Resi made $7 million. When I saw that, I knew I could build something better. So I copied this idea, added a small tweak to differentiate myself and went to market. And that's why 37 days later, I've already generated over $2,000 in revenue and have 4,000 users. And I didn't have to waste time validating a market. One super quick tip when selecting these ideas though, try to pick something that addresses a pain point that you're experiencing that others might as well on a global scale. For example, job searching, so the resume tool that I'm building. We're trying to get in shape, so calorie tracking. Phone screen addictions, so any screen time blocking apps. Anything with a human pain point, and you'll see why this comes in so clutch for marketing down the line. Before you start building anything, here's something that will save you months. Now that you actually have an app idea, the first thing you should do is set up a simple landing page to collect user signups while you work on your MVP. Most beginners skip this and end up building for months in silence and have zero users actually waiting for them when they release. The easiest way to do this is with Gamma. Gamma is basically your AI design partner. You drop in your idea in a few notes and it turns them into a clean professional landing page or a slide deck in minutes with AI. It looks good, it feels polished, and it starts giving you a place to generate real interest while you build out your app itself. And if your app starts taking off and you want to eventually start pitching to investors, Gamma can use the same notes or documents to generate a professional pitch deck that actually looks looks like something a real startup team would use. And here's the part that most people do not know. Gamma also works with Zapier, and this means you could automate a lot of the work that normally slows you down as a solo builder. You could turn meeting notes into slides automatically, convert Zoom transcripts into clean presentations, or take a Notion doc and have Gamma generate a full pitch deck for investors without you touching any design tools. Zapier even has some ready to use templates for these workflows, so you can set up everything in just a few clicks with no coding at all, so you could focus on your own app. So before you write a single line of code, go to gamma.app and join the over 50 million users and 40,000 teams to build your waitlist page and your pitch decks. All right, now let's get into the real work and start actually building the app. Even with all these AI tools out there, I'm still a firm believer that at a minimum, you need to understand all the fundamentals for your own code. So let's understand the different tech stacks you should be using when you build out your own application. Then I will give you a free roadmap that I would use if I was restarting myself so you could learn everything you need. Okay, so the only coding language you should be using is JavaScript. This is because it covers all aspects of full stack development, basically meaning you could control both server side logic and what users actually see on your application. The next part actually depends on what kind of app you want to build. Is it a web app or a mobile app? For a web app, it's simple. You should only be using Next.js because it handles stuff like server side rendering and API routes. But most importantly, it's search engine optimized, meaning your website actually shows up when a user goes and Google certain things. Now, on the other hand, mobile is a lot more difficult than web development. And this 
is because the web ecosystem is so large and basically anyone could go and deploy their own website for everyone to see so easily. But with mobile, you only have two markets you could even tap into to begin with, and that's iOS or Android. So we're gonna use React Native to build for both platforms at once. And you're also gonna use Expo Go because this expedites your development process. And when you're actually ready to submit your app to the app store, it's gonna save you so much time. It's such a pain dealing with Apple. Now we're almost done with the boring stuff in the building. There's just two remaining things I wanna to touch on. The first is authentication and a database. In my opinion, I would use Superbase to handle all of this because their free tier is incredibly generous and you can scale up to like 10,000 users completely for free. And they have their own authentication built directly into it through OAuth with Google and Microsoft and stuff like that. So you'll have a secure platform with minimal setup. And finally, arguably the most important part is what AI tools are you gonna to use. I'm a firm believer, especially as we're approaching 2026, if you aren't using AI in your workflows, you are behind. You cannot keep up in this current dev ecosystem. So what you're gonna do is use Warp. It's a new agentic development environment. Think of this as your IDE or where you're gonna write your code. Warp basically lets you index your entire code base so it's easier to feed it into AI agents. And then for AI agents, the only thing you're gonna use is Claude code. There is absolutely no competitor out there right now that comes even remotely close to them. Make sure you're always planning your code with Claude code so you can become that kind of 10X developer. Now as promised for those beginners in app development, here's a quick roadmap you can follow to learn everything you need to get building completely for free. Start by watching this entire crash course by Free Code Camp on YouTube. It'll work you through all the theory and fundamentals that you need for JavaScript. Now this just gets you started, so go to this website called Full Stack Open. It teaches you all the fundamentals of development, like working with APIs, managing databases, and testing and deploying your code. It even goes in depth covering all the React specific stuff, like working with React Router or React Native, so you could build out your apps on your own. After this, we have a solid understanding down, just go back to YouTube, I really like JavaScript Mastery, pick out another project and just build it out from scratch while watching the video as a kind of guide. Because this way you'll have a product that you build from start to end that you could replicate with your own app afterwards. And it's what I actually did. Finally, bookmark this website called javascript.info because you will inevitably get stuck on some stupid things and some small syntax. And this is a perfect reference for all of the core JavaScript concepts. Okay, now we're on to the final part and my favorite part as a content creator, and that is marketing. In this day and age, especially with how AI is working, I would argue that marketing is probably at least 50% of your work for building an app. So pay attention to these few tricks you could use. First of all, UGC is king. And this is basically just organic content that you're gonna post on your own social media. So for example, for Resumax, as you could see on this Instagram page that I posted a few videos on, I have generated 151,000 views in the last month, all for my own SaaS app. And this is from a grand total of nine or 10 videos that I recorded in about five minutes each completely for free. So the return on investment is crazy high for getting paying users into my app. And just like with the app idea, copying here is key. All you have to do is go to TikTok or Instagram and search for something related to your app. For example, resume templates, and then scroll through all of these high performing videos and just recreate them, putting your own twist on it with a call to action to go check out your app. It's really that simple. If you're not comfortable putting your own face out there, I totally get it. I still wouldn't skip this step though, because attention is the new currency in this day and age. So I would find influencers in your niche between the 1,000 to 10,000 following mark and then DM them offering to pay between 30 to $50 per video. Or if you're smart, something like a dollar for every 1,000 views on the videos that they generate, stuff like that. And then it's up to you to kind of determine what kind of price point you're comfortable with and how much money you're willing to invest into it if you are at all. Either way, keep experimenting with your own organic content until you find something that blows up and then go to TikTok ads and Instagram ads, pay another 30 or $50 for each video and boost this to another 10,000 people. I did that literally today before recording this video and I've already generated $240 in revenue from a $30 TikTok ad. It's stupidly easy once it starts working for you. Now for my kings and queens out there that do not want to put their face online, I get it, or they do not have the money to spend. Also, I get that. You can still do this. One successful strategy so many of my startup friends have done is going to anonymous sites like Reddit, Discord, or Quora, and finding anything related to your keyword. Again, for example, for me, job searching, resume templates, and then just throwing in your website being like, 
this really helped me you guys should try it out and that way you don't have to put your face out there the only other option is really focusing on seo which is search engine optimization or aso which is app store optimization and this basically means researching keywords that need to be embedded into certain parts of your website so either google or the app store throws your product up when users are searching for specific things like a resume template or an ai resume generator an ai job applier you got the point one thing i will warn you is stay damn away from influencer marketing and by that i mean people in my range where it's like 150,000 followers because i know firsthand as someone that's making thousands of dollars for one video this is not in our budget do not even waste your time anyways that's literally everything you need to do to pick up your keyboard and build an application that will start making you at least that extra one thousand or two thousand dollars a month that you're looking for trust me learning to code and building an app is the best investment you can make in yourself i'm begging you to just start and learn from your own progress after this video if you found any of this helpful leave a like and subscribe and take a look at my own journey building out resimax i'll see you in the next one